Hello everyone, welcome back. Kevin with Survival Boards. Guys and gals, just wanted to throw together a little quick video talking about my current day pack setup. And just a little impromptu video I wanted to do. So this is my current favorite day pack. It's a military surplus patrol pack. And this is my current, what I consider my day pack setup. Well, that shouldn't be in there. The rag, I had this whenever I was working on the boat, and I was like, well, what I do is I just tossed it in my pack to get it out of the way. But we've got a little something for snakes or whatever else, and then we've got water, water filter, MSR. And I need to do a video about this. I bought this, oh, a little over a year ago, and have yet to do a video about it. I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to put together a little video about that in the next couple of weeks. Let's see here. What do we have? Oh, battery pack for my phone. Uh, rain poncho. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, lenses for my Th Marlin 336. This goes back to uh, hunting season, November, December. I've got the gun in a gun case now, so the scope isn't getting any dust or anything on it. But I need to put them back on. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, put them in my pocket. Let's see what we have here. I have no idea. This was from a review or something that I did, and I put them in there. And But something I do like to carry is a trash bag. Just a regular household, well, I think this is a 13-gallon trash bag. And you say, well, Kevin, what are you a trash bag for? So that you can take out, if it starts raining, put your rain poncho on, covers your pack up, but then you can take the, the uh, trash bag, Put your gear in it, shove it in there. It's like a wet weather bag. Just throw your gear in it, seal it up, turn it upside down, whatever, and there you go. And I've done some modifications to the patrol pack. Not really modifications, just customizations. I've got a, a carabiner here. These came taped up from, uh, I believe, these came taped up from eBay, where I got the pack from. Put a little pocket compass on here. And it, I check it pretty regularly. These little pocket compasses, they don't last that long. I'm on. I promise it works, guys. I may have to throw it away. They're like 50 cents each or so. There it goes. It's getting a little air bubble in it. Some people some people say the air bubbles do not affect accuracy, but I don't care. I just I don't like them. Put a 550 cord on. I made 550 cord zipper pulls. Put those on all of them. Put my Mora knife over here. And something that I've done in the past few months is I've moved away from having canteens on my packs. Is that I just felt they were too bulky, too heavy. So now whenever I go out in the woods or go on a hike or something, I just take a one liter water bottle, throw it in the pack. But whenever I have the canteen, um, canteens mounted, I usually carry a canteen cup. And so without the canteen cup, I can't boil water. I can't cook, so it's save a little bit of weight. So I usually have the canteens mounted here. I've kind of moved away from that a little bit. All right, so we've got our topographical maps for the area. We've got an old style, just basic. All I use this for is latitude or longitude or UTM. That's it. This is a very, very old E-Trex uh, dogs playing. Etrex GPS does not have a built-in map feature. That's what this is for. Got my El Cheapo compass. Got a couple of lithium batteries and a pencil to write with. And that, I move this from pack to pack. That is, this is not just for this pack. I move it from pack to pack. Got a couple of things of toilet paper in here. Got some snacks, little Slim Jim snacks. I can't, uh, throw these in pack. I was gonna use these for perch fishing. That was a video that I found on YouTube. And the guy swore by Slim Jim for perch fishing. And so I was going out on the Natchez River doing some fishing. And I was like, well, I'm going to bring some of these and try them for perch fishing. But I ran late on time. Didn't ha um, Had to get back before dark. Needed to get back before dark. The rappel, DEET. And something else I've been trying out is this rappel tick defense. 10 hours. And whenever I use the... Uh, DEET, a lot of times I still get ticks on me. They'll climb up my pants, inside of my pack, inside of my pants. Usually attach around my kidney areas or my ankles. 
for some reason they like my ankles and they like up around my ki my kidney area and my belly button so if i spray this in my pants sometimes i still get ticks on me but this this stuff here i've used this several times over the past year i've gone on plenty of hiking trips just haven't made any movies talked about taking a break from youtube in another in another video and so far i have not gotten a single tick on me with this repel tick defense so i've started using the repel tick defense like on my legs and my socks and then the deet on my pants my shirt my hat ears neck stuff like that so it's I, i've started using kind of a combination of, of the two and so far i think it's working out well i have not had any problems and some hand sanitizer homemade hand sanitizer i was making this stuff up whenever covid was uh in the <laughs> dark ages back in uh tw early 2020 and this is everclear and a little bit of uh, glycerin and maybe i should do a video about how to how to do that but what's missing out of here is matches matches on a lighter i just realized that i probably took them out and put them in another pack so guys and gals it's just a little quick video uh, showing my current day pack setup i need to put some matches in there just to have them the patrol pack has became one of my favorite favorite grab and go packs it is just wonderful i mean absolutely wonderful um, i've been using it for a couple of years now bought them off ebay bought it off ebay prices in the past year have, have gone up and I, uh, whenever i'm going out say on the river or something and i know i'm going to be using my phone for the gps feature the location feature and that drains the phone pretty quick the location drains the phone pretty quick so i carry will sometimes carry a battery pack with me i don't deal with the solar charger i don't care about all that i charge it on the in the house and uh, drop it in there and i forgot to put a usb cable in here i realized that that it's like oh no i got out the field i got out on the river the other day and realized i took my usb cable off my computer and put in here whenever i got home i took it back out of here and put it in my computer so i need to add usb cable matches and or lighter have matches and lighter as a backup think about taking a lighter and put it inside of a pill bottle see if that'll work and have two pill bottles one with matches and one with a lighter the water filter and a little something for snakes or whatever else another plastic bag for water protection let me know what you think guys um, do you carry canteens on your packs i mean do you have your canteens i have promoted carrying canteens on on your packs for years years and years and years and i've just i've started asking questions like okay why am i doing this why why do i have two canteens on a pack whenever i may not need them and what about water bottles want some feedback do you think water bottles would be a better option than canteens and the water the water filter has a has a uh, threaded base where you thread it onto a water bottle and so i'm kind of easing towards water bottles but then again it's the weight do you want to carry two 32 ounce water bottles on here do i go with something smaller say a one liter water bottle instead of a 32 ounce water bottle so what do you think guys what are y'all doing for water just a little bit of feedback anyway just a quick little video for a sunday and i will talk to y'all later